back to my channel, Mom Poshmark Canada, Rainbow Poops, Poshmark USA, Rainbow Poops 1, Instagram, Rainbows After Midnight, and somewhere on eBay, but who knows how long. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a event video about eBay. I've had issues with eBay in the past. It's totally different, I find, selling on eBay for Canadians than it is for an Americans. So I just got an email this morning. I actually got two emails this morning regarding my seller performance. Globally, I guess it goes for the whole year. So globally, I had a couple dings on me. I had three actually, because I had three packages that went missing. There are also places where I prefer not to ship anymore. One was including Mexico. I've had a lot of issues with packages in Mexico. I later, I actually made a video about this. I found out that a lot of times things get stolen. They don't even make it very far down there just because of how corrupt it is. So I no longer send stuff down to Mexico. One of the, I forget the other country, it was another one. I think it was like, I don't know if it was like Russia or something. Somewhere else where I was also told there's a lot of issues going on down there if you are shipping and I realized that later. So yes, I had three issues globally. Um, I got dinged for that. I also got dinged for, I think about three or four items I had to cancel the sale because it was out of stock. Reason why is because it was cross posted and it sold elsewhere. So when somebody purchased the item, I had to delete it. And I didn't realize until after they purchased it that I already sold that item. So eBay decided to obviously dig me on those issues. Yeah, so they've pretty much given me all these warnings. Um, my last, one of my last sales that came through, the guy gave me negative feedback, said I sucked. His comment said, seller sucks. <laughs> Reason why is I, okay, I picked up these two brand new DVDs from what I know they were brand new. And he claimed that they were opened and I guess sealed back with tape, which I could have bought them at the thrift store. I did buy them at the thrift store. I don't know if they opened them, like they sliced them to make sure everything was okay in there, or the guy is just making up, you know, a story because why just keep them and leave me negative feedback, like just return them. eBay's all about, you know, satisfaction guarantee. I could have just refunded him, but no, he wanted to give me, you know, the worst review ever. Um, so that was fun. I've had two negative reviews over the last year. It was that guy was the more recent one. And then if you watch any of my previous videos, I had an issue with a guy over in Japan um, claiming that the jeans he bought were frayed beyond belief and they were not. They were in used, like the best condition ever. And it was just a whole issue. That package actually is lost somewhere. Um, it came back and then I accepted his return. And they, uh, FedEx wanted to charge me import fees for it. I think it was like $30 or $40 for me to accept the package. And I was like, well, I only spent $6 on these jeans. I'm not spending $30 or $40 on these. So they just, um, I just declined the jeans. So they were at FedEx and they probably just trashed them because I did not want to pay that. That wasn't right. That was a whole other thing. But yeah, so the more recent one, and this is one of the big ones as to why I almost quit eBay. They were saying something about, I don't like my ID or something was, I needed to provide another piece of ID or something like that. Now let me tell you, I've been on eBay since 2007 anytime I message them they're always like oh thank you for being on you know a loyal eBay whatever person for so many years you've been on here since you know 2007 I knew that was gonna happen I'm just going down some little side streets here <sighs> near my house so anyways um yeah that happened and because I guess I didn't get back to them in time or it was like a two-step verification that's what it was I clicked everything went through and I thought everything was good it turns out they needed some other information which I didn't realize they needed so what did eBay decide to do they decided to take every single item I had all my items and put them all not for sale 
So I think at the time I had almost 500 items and they put them all not for sale. And then everything was good, everything was fine. And I messaged eBay back and I said to them, oh, so how do I get all these, you know, all my 500 almost items that are unsold back over to active? And they pretty much told me that, oh, you, you can't. You have to individually relist every item. Individually relist every item. So I started to relist my items, bring them over, fix them up, put them back. Well, what I didn't realize is after 90 days, as per how eBay goes, um, they deleted all those items. So they deleted about 200 and something items I had sitting there. Yeah. And now this is where they are threatening to suspend my account. They said I'm, my performance level is like terrible. So I'm getting a little fed up with eBay. Um, if they were to suspend me, I'm probably going to be off eBay for quite some time. Um, maybe ever. I don't really know. I don't make crazy sales on eBay, but I have made some good sales on eBay. I mean, maybe it's just not for me. Maybe it's just, it's not for me. It's not for everybody. It is a lot more work. They expect a lot more out of their sellers. Um, they protect their buyers more than sellers. There's a lot of fraud on there. Just anyone can return stuff for any reason. They just don't like it anymore. I could go and buy something and wear it for a week and then be like, I don't want this anymore. And just, you know, I don't know. I got, I got some issues there. So yeah, I'm just kind of going with the flow and seeing how this works out. But I just want to give a little update on how I feel about eBay. If you guys have some similar issues, let me know. I'm quite interested. Again, I don't know if it's different because I'm in Canada. It's a little harder over here. We don't have a lot of this extra stuff like global shipping and all this other things. But I, I don't really know. I'm just going by what I know. <sighs> okay, well, that's my little rant for this morning. If you could uh, like and subscribe. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.